Hey everyone, over the last couple of months, there have been a lot of changes with the tank. And instead of making just sort of one long video, I thought I would make a series of videos in digestible chunks detailing some of these changes. So today's video is going to be why I changed my power head and sort of how I got a problem fish out of the tank. So I hope you enjoy and let me know your thoughts in the comments. So on the tank, I'm running two MaxSpec gyres XF230. And I really like these gyre pumps. I like the flow they create. However, versus a Vortec or a Tunzi pump, it just seems to me that these pumps get a lot dirtier faster and require more cleaning and more maintenance. Now, this could be really be specific to my situation, the fact that I get a lot of coralline algae growth I keep the gyres really close to the top of the tank where they maybe get a lot more light than normal power heads would, would get. So here you're seeing two months of coralline algae growth and the difference in performance is noticeable. In fact, I made a video about cleaning um, these gyres, how I went through how I clean my gyres, so I'll link to it here. But the gyre requires a lot of maintenance and it's not something that I really wanted to deal with because you can go from running it at 70% when it's dirty and when you clean it and put it back in a tank you have to run it at maybe 20 or 30% so it's a big difference so I changed from the Gyre XF230 to a Vortec MP40 and um, what I have now is I have two gyres and when one gets a little bit dirty I just swap it put it in a bucket and clean it and just put the other one on the tank so I rotate the two. No one really wants to see another MP40 unboxing video so I'll just talk while I fast forward through the unboxing in the background. So I had an MP40 that I took off my tank a while ago and it's been sitting in you know in my closet for quite a while now and um, when I pull it out to put it on the tank I realized that the wet side was messed up and the power supply wasn't working now I've had power supplies failing left and right that's a totally different video that I'll make at another time but the wet side is $75 the power supply was $50 and you know at the time it was on sale at Marine Depot I bought it at Marine Depot but pretty much everywhere else an MP40 was on sale for less than $300 so between getting a new power supply and a new wet side I was more than halfway I was almost halfway to you know what a new pump cost so I ended up just getting a brand new pump and I'm pretty glad I did it's recommended that you clean both inside and out the space on the aquarium where you're gonna put the these ecotech pumps so I took some time to do that it's been a while since that side of the gas got a good cleaning anyway I already have a reef link because I use a lot of Ecotech equipment so connected it to, a, to, um, to my reef link was a breeze and setting up a setting up a quick easy program was not that hard so I kept a gyre on one side of the tank and the Ecotech MP40 on, an, on the other side of the tank and then I just have them alternate throughout the day so the gyre runs for an hour and then the MP40 runs for an hour and with my Apex it was pretty easy to kind of set this program up it was it was really wasn't that hard so now I'm running the MP40 on the left side of the tank and the gyre is on the right side of the tank so when that gyre gets dirty I simply swap it with the other one so now I get the flow I want without having to do maintenance as often so it's working out well for me The next part of the video is going to be about how I got a problem falco hawkfish out of the tank. This fish was terrorizing the inhabitants in my tank and how I got him out is I bought an acrylic fish trap from Amazon. The size is 9 by 5 by 6. Um, he was bothering my wrasses. I had a couple of wrasses jump because I suspect that he was the one that was doing it and I needed to do everything in my power to sort of catch this fish and get him out. The 
fish trap was that, just a fish trap, and it needed some modifications to turn it into a fish trap slash acclimation box. So the first thing I did is I took my stepper drill and put a lot of holes in it. This allowed for water exchange, so if you were keeping a fish in it for a couple of days, enough water could come in and out so a fish could breathe. The second reason was I could feed. So I could take a turkey baster and feed a fish through it. So, you know, you an acclimation box works well because it gives fish time to get used to a new addition. And you can also feed them while they're in this acclimation box. wife gave me one of her small mirrors and I put it in um, this you know a lot of the fish were really confused or fooled by this they came in they started I think they saw reflections of themselves they started fighting themselves they were brushing up against the mirrors but after leaving leaving it in for a couple of days it got them really comfortable with the mirrors. I fed I started feeding in the acclimation box I fed mice here I put seaweed here so over the course of a couple of days um, everyone in the tank felt comfortable. Of course, you know what always happens, the fish that you're looking to catch with this is the last one to feel comfortable and go in the fish trap. So finally, after two and a half days, I got him. I fed um, this LRS chunky food for predators. I put it in um, and he got caught with that. He went and got it. I shut the door and now he's trapped. He's in there. He's He's at the bottom, you see him at the bottom. He doesn't look happy now because he knows he's been caught, but I was happy to get him out of the tank. I kept him in the acclimation box, you know, by himself for, for another day until I got a chance to go to the LFS and hand, it in, hand him in for credit, but I'm happy to get this pest out of my system. Now what I'm doing now is I get a chance to prepare the system for the new additions. So look out for a video on that. So this video is already over seven minutes long and I promised that I would make it quick. So please let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Subscribe to my channel if you like this video and I'll catch you on the next one.